Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Chris Davis, and today we're going to do a movie review of The Eternals. Um, I know, like, with The Eternals, it has, like, mixed reviews, but you can't always listen to the reviews. The reviews aren't right all the time. Um, this film isn't terrible. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's, like, in the middle. It's good. It's watchable. And if you really like the MCU, if you're invested, invested in the MCU, then I definitely recommend you watch this film. Um, because it's definitely one you don't want to skip over. A lot of characters are introduced and a lot of new, um, uh, story plots are developed in this movie. So it's definitely one you want to watch. So with that being said, let's get into the review. So I'm kind of going to break this kind of review up. I'm going to talk about the story and then I'm going to talk about to you what I liked. Okay. So, story is kind of complex, um, but I will try to simplify it as much as possible. All right, so I can get to, so I can tell you what I liked about the film. Okay, so, movie starts off. Um, the Eternals, um, they wake up from their pods and they go to Earth. Um, they destroy these creatures called the Deviants who are haunting humans. Um, the Eternals, um, what most of them believe their mission is, is to go to a planet, protect the inhabitants from the Deviants, so that planet can flourish in its natural evolution cycle. That's what most of them believe that their missions are. However, the truth is that... <clears throat> The Celestials, these gods in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I, when I speak of gods, you, there is Thor and then there's Odin, but these Celestials, I think, are higher than them. Um, the true goal um, like of the Eternals is um, the Celestials, they first sent the Deviants to the planets to help the planets and um, the Celestials plans were was that planets couldn't flourish because predators on there were keeping um, intelligent life from ha from growing but when the Deviants took out the predators they became predators themselves so the programming was corrupted so the Celestials sent the Eternals to wipe out the Deviants so the inhabitants can grow um, on that planet naturally. So one day a celestial can be born from that planet and that planet would die. Um, so that was the true goal of the um, Eternals. And only like two people of the group knew that. The leader, Ajak, and Icarus. Everyone else was ignorant about it. Um, but, um, Icarus and Selma Hayek's character, Ajak, knew the truth. Um, okay. Um, uh, Cersei figures out the truth when, um, Ajak's robot ball passes on from her to Cersei because Hayek died. And so Cersei figures out the truth. And so when she learns the truth of their true mission, um, she recruits all the Eternals to prevent the um, celestial emergence. Um, all the other characters seem to be on board with it because um, they like this planet and they don't want to see it die. Um, one other thing I mentioned, um, the way that the movie makes it seem not so bad that the Earth is going to perish because the Celestial merges is because the Celestial is supposed to create new galaxies, so they're supposed to create a new Earth, uh, or another planet like Earth, so that's kind of how they justify killing off billions of people that the Celestial is going to create new galaxies with um, other new life on the planet so it's supposed to seem like it's supposed to be this natural order of the cosmic universe um, however 
the Eternals, they don't like that. They've been on Earth for like thousands of years. And they've gotten attached to this planet. They've seen the bad things humanity's done, but they've seen the, all the good. And they don't want to destroy the planet. And even though um, the even though a celestial won't merge and it won't create these new this new galaxy, uh, they don't care. They don't want to see like the Earth and the people um, they've gotten attached to on it perish. Uh, but however, one character Icarus doesn't like that. He's loyal to the celestial, so he attacks the rest of the Eternals. In order um, to prevent them from stopping the emergence. And another character named Sprite joins him to stop the others. <clears throat> um, it's a really good like fight scene. Um, uh, Icarus versus the other Eternals. He can fly. He can shoot lasers from his eyes. Um, um, really good like fight scenes. Uh, but eventually, um, I don't know if they pulled it off or he eventually gave in. Uh, I don't remember it very clearly, but they were finally able to stop the Celestial from emerging. Um, from uh, stop the Celestial emergence. So Icarus, he's conflicted. Um, he betrayed the Celestials. Um, he betrayed his family, the Eternals. Like, where really does he have to go? Will his family forgive him? The Celestials definitely probably won't forgive him. So he goes to the sun and um, he, like, he kills himself. Like Icarus in like, Greek mythology who flew too close to the sun. And like he his wings burned and he drowned. Um, <clears throat> so that's what happened. <clears throat> then after that... oh. We get this ending. Well, before we get to the ending scene, I will go to the end of the movie and we see the celestial in the sky. We think he's about to destroy the planet, but he pulls the celestials who are on Earth, not the Eternals who are on Earth, and tell them, "You stop the emergence. I'm going to look through your memories to see if Earth is worth saving. If it's not, I'm coming back to judge you." So, and then um, he sends them off. Then back to the Earth, and some other Eternals are flying through like the ship to tell the other Eternals, "Hey, this is what you're doing. You're killing off billions of other people for the um, Celestials. You need to stop. Everything you're doing is a lie." <clears throat> and then um, we get this really cool ending scene. Harry Styles comes out as Star Fox, and he has this Minotaur introducing him and stuff. And he's supposed to be an Eternal, but he's on, he's an Eternal from the Moon Titan. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, that's very interesting. When I heard him call himself Star Fox, I've never heard of that Marvel character before. When I think of Star Fox, I think from Super Smash Brothers or um, Fox McCloud from the Star Fox games. That's what comes to mind. Definitely not a Marvel character. Um, but, yeah, seeing Harry Styles as Star Fox, um, w really what, um, bumped this movie up for me, because it had me look forward to the sequel to the Eternals, and, like, how are they going to defeat a Celestial? Um, how are they going to break the news to the other Eternals that, um, their whole mission is a lie, and they're causing mass genocide on a planet? How are they going to break that to them? Um, so that was the story. And um, that's um, what I really had to look forward to uh, in this film. Now, things that I liked. Um, what I liked in this film was I liked the family interactions. Um, uh, I liked how the Eternals, like how the movie showed that they cared for each other and watched each other's backs. For like thousands of years. When they were fighting the Deviants. And um, their interactions with humans. <clears throat> them telling um, themselves. Hey look I know you care about these humans and stuff. But you can't get involved 
unless a deviant shows up. But you can't get involved at all. You're only able to get involved if there's a deviant. If it's not a deviant, if it's human on human, then you let the humans work it out. You don't interfere. And it's really implied that if they interfere, they're going to stop. Um, they're going to hinder the um, inhabitants' evolutionary process. They're going to hinder it by solving all their problems for them real easily. So something like that. <laughs> so I really liked um, that conflict. How some Eternals really cared about humans and really wanted them to progress very fast and some others are like look I know you love them and all you want to help but if you really want to help then you can't help them like that you have to let them um, figure it out on their own um, by themselves with their own merit and with their own sacrifices and stuff so I really like that aspect of the Eternals these beings who are like are very advanced aliens um, who have very advanced technology and stuff and they're protecting like the humans from the deviants but you have some who want to do more than that who want to help humanity progress further who wants to stop them from their conflicts and stuff and then you have some others who are keeping them in line saying hey you can't do that I know you care and stuff but don't forget about your mission you're here to protect them from the deviant so they can nap so they can flourish naturally so they believed what I also liked about this film um, the action I did like how they were fighting the deviants and stuff um, definitely the heavy hitters on this team of the Eternals was Icarus Gilgamesh Thena um, uh, the one who could shoot lasers from his fingers and stuff. Those were their heavy hitters. Um, the rest of the six really didn't do like all that much. I guess you can say um, the black guy who can control technology. He, he could do something, but it really wasn't much. So really, your heavy hitters were Stina, Gilgamesh, the guy who could shoot lasers from his fingers, and, of course, Icarus. Um... But I did like other characters like Cersei and Sprite and their relationship with the other Eternals and their relationship with the humans. I did really like that aspect and how Sprite was kind of envious that she could never really um, interact with humans because she really couldn't age. Um, so I really liked the movie. Like I said, the relationship with them, with them and with the humans, I got all that aspect of it. And um, I really like the action scenes in it. Especially um, Thena's and Icarus's. Um, Gilgamesh was really good too. And what I also liked is that how in the Marvel Universe, they're kind of, they are portraying that what we get from like our religion or stuff, it's supposed to come from these Eternals supposedly. So, um, that's my review. Uh, I liked the movie. It was good. It wasn't fantastic, but it's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. It's a good film. It's watchable. Uh, if you like what I had to share, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Share this video with all your friends. And um, all of you, have a great day.